The COVID-19 pandemic, a public health emergency in the first place, has triggered an economic crisis that is much worse than the global financial crisis of 2007 and could be the worst economic crisis in recent history. At the beginning of the currently unfolding crisis, people have turned to scientists and medical staff to save lives and to policymakers and macroeconomists to save the economy. We have seen how governments and central banks have adopted a whatever it takes approach to save incomes and jobs and to put a floor under the economy to manage the current economic fallout. Most governments and central banks announced physical stimulus and provided substantial liquidity to support businesses and households in such a difficult time. The depth of the crisis and the scale of the response have triggered a great deal of interest in macroeconomics and macroeconomic policies. But what is macroeconomics? Welcome to this course on macroeconomics. I am Dr. Hani Abdullatif, a lecturer in economics at Swansea University, a research fellow of the Economic Research Forum, a think tank that focuses on the Middle East and North Africa region, and I'm also a fellow of the Higher Education Academy in the UK and the founder and director of the Economic Society, an online network focusing on learning and teaching economics in the MENA region. I am honored to have been invited to teach this macroeconomics course at Cardiff Business School. In this course, I will introduce you to macroeconomics, a subject that studies the behaviors of different economic agents. When we talk about economic agents in this context, we are referring to economic decision-making units at the macro level, including households, who own factors of production and make consumption decisions, firms who produce goods and services and make investment decisions. And we also talk about governments who spend and collect taxes. And we also talk about um, economic agents from the outside world or in other countries. Those economic agents interact through markets, including uh, goods markets, financial markets, and labor markets to determine an economy's overall outcome. In this course, we will study how to measure economic activity at the macro level. For example, what is gross domestic product or GDP, how to measure it. We will also discuss other macroeconomic indicators such as unemployment rate and inflation and, and so on. The course will also cover different analytical tools that help us understanding how policymakers should respond to various economic shocks. We will learn about physical policy and monetary policy and how an optimal policy mix should work when the economy is too slow or too fast, a concept known as the business cycle. It is an exciting time to learn about macroeconomics. Although this is an introductory first year macroeconomics course, we will refer to the COVID-19 crisis and try to reflect open policies implemented so far in the UK and elsewhere. What approaches seem to have been working? What policies wouldn't uh, work? What should the priorities of macroeconomics and policymakers be during the current crisis? How may the recovery uh, look like? And what type of macroeconomics do we need post COVID-19? The macroeconomics we know today itself has been developed and shaped as a response to past economic crises. The birth of macroeconomics with John Minor Keynes's ideas was a response to the Great Depression of 1929, and so on. So it wouldn't be a surprise to see a radical shift in macroeconomics thinking over the next few years. That's why it is even more interesting to study macroeconomics today than it ever was before. I will release recorded material every Wednesday. Please feel free to follow Hanomics 
my YouTube channel to receive notifications for new content. I hope you will enjoy this course and I very much welcome your feedback and comments. See you on Wednesday.